Gospel according to St. John, the ninth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus walked along, he saw a blind man from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's works might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. Then he went and washed and came back able to see. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, is this not the man who used to sit and beg? And some were saying, it is he. And others were saying, no, but it's someone like him. And he kept saying, no, I am the man. But they kept asking him, how then were your eyes opened? And he answered, the man called Jesus made mud and spread it on my eyes. And he said to me, go in Siloam and wash. And then I went and washed and received my sight. And they said to him, well, where is he? And he said, well, I don't know. And they brought to the Pharisees the man who had formerly been blind. Now, it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the mud and opened his eyes. Then the Pharisees also began to ask him how he had received his sight. And he said to them, he put mud on my eyes, and then I washed, and now I see. And some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God, for he does not observe the Sabbath. But others said, well, how can a man who is a sinner perform such signs and they were divided so they said again to the blind man what do you say about him it was your eyes that he opened and he said well, he is a prophet and the jews did not believe that he had been blind and had received sight until they called his parents of the man who had received sight and they asked them is this your son who you say was born blind how then does he now see and his parents answered, we know that he is our son and that he was born blind, but we do not know how it is now that he sees, nor do we know who opened his eyes. Ask him. He's of age. He'll speak for himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Jews, for the Jews had already agreed that anyone who confessed Jesus to be the Messiah would be put out of the synagogue. Therefore, his parents said, he is of age. Ask him. So for the second time, they called the man who had been blind, and they said to him, Give glory to God. We know that this man is a sinner. And he answered, I do not know whether he is a sinner. One thing I do know, that though I was blind, now I see. And they said to him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? And he answered them, I have told you already, and you would not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples? And then they reviled him, saying, You are his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know that God has spoken to Moses, but for this man, we do not know where he comes from. The man answered, Here is an astonishing thing. You do not know where he comes from, and yet he opened my eyes. We know that God does not listen to sinners, but he does listen to one who worships him and obeys his will. Never since the world began, has it been heard that anyone opened the eyes of a person born blind? If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. And they answered him, You were born entirely in sins, and you are trying to teach us? And they drove him out. And Jesus heard that they had driven him out. And when he found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? And he answered, And who is he, sir? Tell me, so that I may believe in him. And Jesus said to him, you have seen him, and he is the one speaking with you. He said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. And Jesus said, I came into this world for judgment, so that those who do not see may see, and those who do see may become blind. Some of the Pharisees near him heard this and said to him, surely we are not blind, are we? And Jesus said to them, if you were blind, you would not have sin. 
But now that you say we see, your sin remains. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.